Art landscaping can be beautiful, but it can take a lot of work. When maintained properly, lawns require fertilizer, reseeding, and lots of mowing. To keep the garden from growing out of control, plants regularly need to be pruned back, and weeds should be pulled before they choke the rest of the garden. Depending on where you live in the country, plants and lawns may require daily watering. While some of that work can be rewarding and therapeutic, a lot of it is tiring and time consuming. Could a future landscape automate those more tedious tasks? Today I'm taking a look at a few different technologies that are doing just that. This is an automower. It can automatically mow lawns up to an acre in size. Every day it cuts a little bit of the grass and those clippings fall to the ground, decompose and provide nutrients to the soil to help the lawn stay healthy. The mower has built-in sensors to avoid things like feet, kids and other moving obstructions. To set it up, run low voltage wires around the perimeter of the yard. That way the mower never leaves the property. The wires also go around obstacles such as boulders or trees so that the mower always avoids them. Finally, connect the wires to a docking station and plug it in. After that, the mower takes care of the rest. Auto mowing has been around for almost 20 years. But recent advancements in the last couple years have allowed mowers to last longer and cut more efficiently. No matter where you live in the country, lawns and gardens require a certain amount of regular watering. Irrigation systems have been installed to automate that process. Only recently, they've been upgraded to include a smart home component. With smart home irrigation, the system is connected to the internet, so it collects historical weather data. The system can then adjust itself regularly to apply the right amount of water to your property. Most systems are installed with a local sensor to determine what the weather's like in your yard. If it detects rain, it won't turn on. Smart irrigation systems install the same way that regular irrigation systems do. If you already have an irrigation system, it's as simple as replacing the heads or adding a smart irrigation valve. Not only does a smart irrigation system work automatically, but it also conserves a significant amount of water across the lifespan of the landscape. Every garden at some point or another has to deal with weeds. Now getting on your hands and knees to take those weeds out, it's not the most fun task, but Joe has set out to solve that problem. Hey Joe. Hey, how you doing? Good. So what do we got here? Uh, what you see in the garden right now is uh, a little robot that I invented that uh, prevents weeds from growing in your garden. Really? How does it work? Well, basically it lives in your garden all season. Uh, it goes out every day and searches for weeds. So the way that it works is uh, it gets all of the energy that it needs from this solar panel on top. Okay. Uh, and it uses that to power a little weed whacker on the bottom. So that. whenever uh, uh, it attacks a weed, it turns it on to, to chop the weed down. Uh, another way that the robot kills weeds is basically through the action of its wheels. It turns out that when a weed is sprouting from a seed, it goes to a really vulnerable stage where any disturbance in the soil tends to kill it. And since the robot is running around all the time, it tends to kill weeds before they even sprout. Got it. So it's really killing weeds two ways. One through agitation by the, of the soil with the weeds and the other one with the weed whacker. Exactly, yeah. Got it. Okay. And I assume it's got some sensors in it? It does. Uh, people usually ask, how does it tell what's a weed and what's a plant? Sure. And the way that it does that is there's a couple of sensors right behind uh, the shell here. And any plant that's tall enough that touches this part of the robot makes the robot turn away. But anything that's short enough that it goes under the bumper of the robot activates the, uh, the weed whacker, turns the weed whacker on so it, it kills the weed. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so it's the plant height that's establishing whether the weed whacker is on or off. Exactly. Got it, okay. Well, if we're gonna set up in a new garden, can I see how that would work? Absolutely, I've got one right over here if you'd cool. like to help. All right. So the robot is designed for an area up to uh, about 200 square feet. There's two, uh, two different uh, procedures here. Yep. First off, if you have a, a, a large plant that you're transplanting, then it'll be fine just by itself. So okay. if you dig a hole and we'll put the right, right plant in the hole. That sound, looks fine. Sound good to you? Yep. Okay, so this plant is all ready. But if you had uh, something like seeds or, or little seedlings, uh, then let's, let's make a, a little row for about three or four uh, seedlings. Okay. Uh, and I'll show you what you have to do to make that work. Okay. What do you want the spacing on the seedlings here? Oh, about four inches or so. Okay. So these plants are short enough that uh, the robot might mistake them for, uh, uh, for weeds. Okay. So in order to stop the robot from doing that, what you need to do is to put these row guards on either side of the row that you just created there. Okay. And you need to push that down all the way to the, uh, the little step on the bottom of the, uh, of the guard there. Exactly. Okay. And now, uh, those, uh, all of these plants should uh, work fine with the robot. 
Got it. So that's the most important step here is to make sure we protect the seeds like yep, that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Now we can start the robot. Let's do it. That is really simple and easy to use. So that was our idea, uh, to make it as simple as we possibly could. And uh, one button press is about as simple as you can get. But you can get into more detail, right? With you can. There is an app that accompanies the, uh, the robot, and it'll give you some information about how, how the robot's working and what it's doing. But uh, you don't need to use the app to, to take care of your weeds. Nice, nice. So uh, I have over in this garden, you can see there aren't any weeds, but it just started off. In another garden next door, I've, uh, uh, I can show you the dramatic difference. So in these, uh, in these uh, two gardens, I started them um, about a week and a half ago. And when I started them, I put uh, about 20,000 uh, surrogate weed seeds, 10,000 seeds on either side, just uh, so that you could see the difference. And over here, I've had a robot running the whole time, and I didn't do anything on the other side. And you can see the difference that it's made. Yeah. You might be the only gardener I know that purposely adds weed seed to your home garden. Normally I wouldn't do that, but for <laughs> this purpose, uh, it makes sense. Uh, we're, we're pretty pleased with the way it works. Now, Joe, thank you so much for showing us this. Now, what do you see as the future of home gardening, maybe 10, 20 years out? So what I think is going to happen uh, with uh, home gardening, with landscaping, and with a lot, of, uh, a lot of applications where robots can help, is I think the robot will just become invisible. I think you'll, you'll buy a robot to, to do a service for you, you'll uh, put that robot in the place where it's supposed to work, and you'll forget about it. You won't see it do its job, but what you'll see is the results. So um, you'll have a garden, you don't have to do any weeding, and it won't have any weeds. The same thing for, for landscaping areas and all, all the other applications that robots are going to do. It'll just be invisible. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate your time. <laughs> awesome. It's been great fun. Thank you. That was awesome. So cool, right? Very interesting segment. Well, first off, uh, how did I do on planting? You did great. Okay. You didn't bury yeah. it too deep. I was proud. All right. Well, do you have the same kind of viewpoint as Joe does for what the future of landscaping might be? Well, I don't think little robots are going to take over that connection that people need with their landscape and the environment. People need to touch the soil, love to watch things grow and nurture. So, I mean, but I think this will be very beneficial to people who can't bend down and weed or, mm -hmm. or if you are just lazy, <laughs> as I think I've heard you mention uh, before. I'm definitely lazy and I do like to uh, make sure the robot can take care of things like weeding. No, yeah. but if you could yeah. set that little guy up in the garden and figure out how to navigate, I mean, I think yeah. it's pretty impressive, so. I, I'm excited about this technology. I'm also excited about like smart irrigation systems. Right. You know, when you're driving around town and you see irrigation systems running when the rain, when it's actually raining out, you're like, such a waste of water. So right. I think that's that type of technology in addition to this and some other ones I think are really going to be a, right. hopefully a big the part of the future. Right, sensors to shut them off and then you could even bypass that. You could have an app on your phone and you could just shut it off if you're away and you get your, the, the phone call from the neighbor, right? The connected devices, and yeah. And landscape yeah. lighting the same, you know, if you want to, you could do different scenes, you could turn it down to one light, you could have a whole scene of lights. So yeah. there's so many different things that I think technology and the environment can come together. Yin and yang, yeah, right? We'll coming play together. together, okay? That's right. That's so, right. But you know what? Overall, I think it's really spectacular. So nice job. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.